It's a body that glows with diamonds all over. If you were in the middle of nowhere and ran into a dead body that was both scary and beautiful like this, would you dare to go near it? A netizen was doing a psychic live broadcast in the wilderness when he accidentally saw a mysterious light flashing in the pit in front of him. When he got closer, there was a corpse inside. His whole body was covered with diamonds, emitting a colorful and brilliant light. If it were not for the fact that she was pretty, I am afraid that she could scare people to death. If she encountered such a thing in the middle of the night, the police were called to carry the body back to the station, and they focused so much on the body's splendor that they forgot to solve the case. They realized that the sparkling particles were not diamonds, but crystals of a large number of minerals. It means that the deceased was previously soaked in water containing minerals, and these crystals were formed after the water evaporated away. Through the crystals, it can be roughly seen that the deceased is a white woman. Her pants were dragged down to her calves. Police suspect that she may have been assaulted during her lifetime. If a further autopsy was to be done, it would be necessary to remove all the crystals from her body. One policeman first removed her shoes and ended up scraping her feet. Another policeman tried to remove a crystal and ended up poking his wrist. Everyone was afraid to do anything more, so they had to take an x-ray first. It was found that almost every joint of her feet had injuries of different degrees. The police believed that this was caused by long-term pressure and wear and tear on the feet. So the deceased was probably a dancer. Following this lead, the police investigated recent missing persons and found that a dancer had gone missing a week ago. It was the deceased dance partner who was reported missing at the time. The police found this man, who said that the deceased and himself were a perfect pair and had been partners for a long time. Not long ago, they signed up to participate in a dance competition program. Originally to people to win the championship were sure, but at the critical moment, the deceased disappeared. Learning of this, the police had to suspect that perhaps the deceased's competitors had killed her to prevent her from competing. So the police officers disguised themselves as dance contestants and blend in. The coroner is experimenting with an inflatable doll and a bunch of insect repellent. It was found that when a large number of maggots wriggled, they would take the dead man's pants with them. So the dead man's pants were dragged down to his calves, and it wasn't a case of having suffered an assault, but rather that the maggots born after the body had decomposed dragged the pants. On the other hand, the two policemen who blended into the dance rehearsal scene saw a very good dancer, and the deceased was not at the same level. She also had a very strong-looking mother right next to her, who had been supervising her daughter's rehearsal. Because her daughter's boyfriend bought the wrong coffee, she cursed at him and said that any mistake in any area could affect her daughter's performance in the dance competition. She said that any mistake could affect her daughter's performance in the dance competition and that she would kill anyone who influenced her daughter to win the championship. This statement had to arouse the suspicion of the police. So that to found the actress, the girl said she and the deceased on stage were a rival at offstage a good friend. On her death also expressed regret. The girl's mother, on the other hand, said that with her death, you would be a sure winner. The mother and daughter had a big fight and then parted on bad terms. At this time, the coroner was still worried about how to get all the crystals off the dead body. A policeman suddenly thought of a good idea. The police put the bones of the deceased into a container filled with a carbonated cleaner. With a shake of the container, the crystallized surface of the body was quickly cleaned up smooth and clean. The autopsy determined the cause of the deceased's death, which was a broken neck, and also detected signs of lead poisoning in the deceased's lifetime. Only the murderer couldn't get the dose right and failed to poison the deceased, so he resorted to violent means to directly break his neck. The first suspect that comes to the police's mind is the actress's mother, as she has been using the deceased as a stumbling block to her daughter's competition win. What's more, tests reveal that the pigments on those performance costumes contain lead content, and every single one of them was made by the mother's hands. The police were ready to take her away immediately, but were stopped by the actress. She said that all this had nothing to do with the mother, and that she had poisoned the deceased drink. She just wanted to make the deceased unwell and unable to compete, so that she could have a chance to win the championship herself to fulfill her mother's wish and get rid of her dado, two-day pressure as soon as possible, but it never crossed her mind to kill her, not to mention that she would never be able to be with her beloved boyfriend if she went to jail for murder. Hearing this, the police suddenly thought of something. They locked up the mother and daughter first, and then prepared to go to the girl's boyfriend. After all, the cause of death of the deceased was that her neck was broken, and two women couldn't have so much strength. When the police just lit up the documents, the boyfriend saw scattered legs and ran to the stage, and then it was the actor in front of the performance of the dance. The back in the staging of Cat and Mouse, soon to police officers took him down. The audience on stage thought it was a design plot, and they all stood up and applauded the wonderful performance. Eventually, the couple was apprehended together, 
and the boyfriend killed the victim because he wanted to make sure that his girlfriend won the championship and to clear the way for him so that his mom would stop pressuring him.